Well, hello there, and welcome to uh, another episode of the show. Uh, my name is Mark Rosen Hopkins. Uh, I'm going to show you a little clip today. Pretty cool. Uh, this was sent to me. You probably first saw it over on uh, Gizmodo or maybe uh, Read Write Web. It's the Brain Twitter interface. Pretty neat. Um, here he shows you that. Okay, roll the clip. Here he goes. Uh, it shows you he's got the cap on um, and it's uh, detecting uh, the signals from his brain. And he basically, you just stare at the letter while these little lights flash, and it can detect which one you're looking at. Kind of, kind of cool stuff. Anyway, uh, designed for folks with ALS, uh, Lou Gehrig's disease, uh, that is. Um, and the uh, brain computer interface employs the uh, electrode studded cap wired to the computer, detects electrical signals from the brain, essentially your thoughts, and translates them into physical action, such as the cursor movement, or uh, as, uh, as is shown here, the, uh, the selection of letters and then concentrates on tweet and there it goes it goes out to the to the web so um it was uh, done by a fellow over at uh was it the university of wisconsin madison uh a guy named guy's name is adam wilson in the uh, biomedical engineering and doctoral uh division the uh the it was done in collaboration with research scientist gerwin schalk and his colleagues at the wadsworth center in albany new york they began developing silicate, uh, quote, simple and elegant communications interface based on brain activity relating to the changes in an object on the screen. And the interface consists of the keyboard, like you saw there, and, uh, you know, and actually here is just describing uh, how it works. They wanted to hook up to Twitter because, hey, you know what, Oprah's on Twitter. <laughs> Everyone's looking at Twitter. So that's a nice little demonstration of the technology. Uh, this is that singularity stuff. This is the uh, first step towards uh, a brain jack, guys. Uh, you know, one of the first steps. Um, kind of a, actually, kind of reminds you of the, the Back to the Future uh, technology. Uh, they were talking about, they remember the, I think it was in Back to the Future 2? Yeah, 2, where they were, uh, uh, Marty McFly is playing with uh, the Gunsmoke game, and the kids, it's, it's a game you have to use your hands for. You know, how old school is that? So, anyway, kind of that sort of thing. It's, it's really cool. I thought it was just a neat little uh, demo. There's not really a whole lot of commentary you can say on this other than to just kind of go, wow, uh, the future's getting here. So, thought you'd enjoy the clip. Leave your comments below.